Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 6483 in Candy Crush Saga. And if you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. So 25 moves, 108 jelly, 13 yellow, and 40 frosting. And of course, getting through the frosting will help us get to the yellow because right now they are trapped under crystal candies and then we've got these licorice. So it's going to be hard to get these to combine into groups. Of course, we could always try to take care of them by exploding them with wrapped candies or stripes because we've got stripes coming down. Oh, and the stripes are generous. We're getting the stripes from the dispensers right away. I love that. No waiting. But let's use combos when we can. I still think that wrapped candies are particularly helpful on a board like this. Although I'll take a stripe stripe across this way, really open things up. Right? Or maybe I should have done it toward the middle and I'll tell you why. Because I can't move the things that are all completely under crystal. So if I get one that's not under crystal, I can move it around if it's, you know, if there's a spot for it. Oh, look at this green coming together to give us this. I can't bring this down any further. I'm going to go ahead and open up those yellow that are on top, and they may still help, like with this. This is a perfect example. I can make a stripe with these yellow because this is not covered, and so I'll displace that licorice. This is listed as a hard level, but it's going fairly well for me. I could do this, or I could do this. Now, this would take out the frosting and this licorice, but this will have this screen take out this licorice before this takes off. And I think this has a bit more pull. <sighs> do I work up here, or do I hope that things get taken care of as I work down here? I think I just gave you my answer. I mean, I may have to head up that way if I can't take care of things this way. Uh, I'd love to get a purple. Oh, look at this. <gasps> well, that didn't work out like I had intended. I was thinking I could, there was a purple around here and I could try to drop it into position. That did not work. And I don't want to fuss around trying to make that happen again. I'm going to go like this and blow things up. Look at that. All of the jelly that was up here we got rid of and I got a color bomb. Can't take out yellow. I think what I'm going to do is work on the crystal candies that are covering things. Look at all the green I have together. I know that doesn't seem like a great choice, does it? But now I can do a wrapped, wrapped combo. And that can spread over to here and to here. Of course, it would take out that color bomb. But I don't know that that's a bad idea. I think it's a pretty good idea. It takes out a color, concentrates things down. I still have these corners, but I also still have color bumps. Ooh, I would have preferred using that a different way, but look at that. I've got a wrapped candy there. So I'll do this. I'll do this. I took out a color. It did not set this off, and I'm a little frustrated about that. We're setting off a lot of things, but some things are still being difficult. And I'm not getting these to pair up with any of the specials that I want. So that helps a little bit. I don't think I'm going to make it, but I had fun with this one. And I, you know, have learned that the corners are particularly difficult. I learned that I was right not to pursue the things up above. They kind of take care of themselves as we're making our way down here. So I'm going to pause the recording, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off initially, but then when I figure everything out, I'll come back through and narrate for you. Okay, so this one took me really close to five tries, but under five tries. And it's just a matter of getting into those corners. I was about the same spot every single time. I'm looking for combos. Look at that. I can make a wrapped way down here. I'll make a stripe. I'll set off a stripe because I'm going to have more come down. And I just have to look at where I should go next. Yeah, I'll take a color bomb striped combo. Prefer a color bomb wrapped combo at this point in time, but I'll take what I can get. And look at that. The yellow are falling away. I've got a striped wrapped I can use. 
That's going to hit that corner. And now what? Now it's not as clear. Just kind of making tiny little moves here instead of thinking a lot about it. All right, and now do I just use a color bomb or do I try to set it up with another special? Yeah. I mean, that wouldn't, it didn't take a lot of planning to do. Huh, there. Get into that corner and I've got a red stripe along the edge, but. Okay, now I can make a stripe that I might be able to bring down pretty far. Oh, and I've got a wrapped in that corner where I've got some really thick jelly. Now I have a wrap wrapped and it's up high, but I'm going to set it off anyway because it'll float down and reach to that corner. So now I've got the left hand lower corner to get. I want to work directly where I have some opportunities. I could make a stripe that way and that might set off other things, but really what I was looking for is that stripe that headed downward. And then look at that. Perfectly placed. I got a lot of wrapped candies to help sew things up at the end. So there was a little bit of luck for me there. That was the difference between the other three or four attempts and that last one. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.